going to be going straight ahead at the traffic light. On the approach, look for signs and all of the lane markings so you understand the big picture. The lanes might not be where you expected them to be. Getting your speed down in good time will help you with this planning. Keep an eye on the traffic to the left of you as you move away. Remember they should be turning left, but of course people do make mistakes, so just be aware. Looking for signs is the best way to assist with your planning. At these traffic lights, we're going to be following the road ahead and then immediately taking the road on the left, Sutton Town Centre. Getting your speed down is always going to help you with your planning. And then take the most appropriate lane for where you're going. In this instance, we're taking the left-hand lane because we intend to go straight at the traffic lights and then immediately left. Take care when moving off from the traffic light. Remember to have a little glance to the sides as you're passing through the junctions. If you're unsure, ask your instructor why. See the sign on the left? This shows that we've picked the correct lane for where we're wanting to go. But again, watch out for any mistakes that other road users might make. Be patient. We're now taking our first look at turning right. The green light here shows that all directions can proceed and the floor marking shows that this lane is for ahead and right, so you must signal. Move towards the centre of the junction, take it slowly and do not affect other road users. And straighten up if you can. Be ready to move away when there's a suitable gap. Now look at the traffic light, it's turned red. Don't panic, just move away and clear the junction. We do not want to stay in the middle of that junction. Same junction again, still turning right. Everything is the same on the approach. Except this time, there's no oncoming traffic lock. Therefore, we can pass straight through the junction without stopping. Still taking our time. We're now going to take our first look at turning right at a filter light. Again, look how early we're taking our position in preparation. And be sure to look at all those floor markings as we've discussed earlier. This time, we've got a single lane in which to turn right from. I want you to signal into the lane and keep that signal on while we're waiting. You never know, in heavy traffic, we could be covering one of the arrows. And also, don't forget, there might be pedestrians around that don't drive and don't know where you're going. So notice the traffic light on our left has just gone through its phasing back to red. Ours is about to change to its illuminated green arrow, which means we have priority to turn. Traffic ahead will also start to move. Now don't worry, just pass in front of each other. This time, there's no stopping in the middle, nobody to give way to. If there are two lanes in your new road, choose the left lane if clear. Check down the left-hand side of your vehicle to make sure it is safe to enter that lane. In this, our last clip, we're turning right once again at a traffic light. We're going to put into practice everything we've discussed so far, so you can see the signs, the floor markings, making sure we're signalling to cross over the broken line into our lane, keeping that signal on whilst we're waiting. See here, there's no repeater light in front of you, which means when you're given the green light, you need to have confidence in yourself and your decision making. Move to the centre, follow the road markings, position as best as you can. It's not always easy when there's a car in front of you. Check your new road, be ready for the gap or the traffic slowing for a change in the phase of the light. Confidently move away and try and move yourself into that left lane, checking that it's clear to do so. I hope you've enjoyed the clip on traffic lights, especially turning right. Thank you very much for watching.